Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing full body but with a real focus on abs. So when you're ready you're going to start lying down onto your backs today for me. Feet hip distance apart, knees are bent and just lying all the way down onto your backs. Reaching those arms nice and long down by your side. Pressing your heels in towards the mat, take a big inhale in, then exhale, we gently rock through our pelvis and send our hip bones up towards the ceiling for our first pelvic curl and just warm up our spines. Inhale in at the top and then exhale, we slowly roll through our spine, one vertebrae at a time, come all the way back through to that neutral spine on the mat. Inhale in, then exhale, press your heels in, send your hip bones up, making sure you're not lifting too much onto your shoulder girdle and then slowly roll yourself down. So carry on going at your own pace, just starting to mobilize your spine, waking up those glutes, but concentrating on keeping that rib connection. So you're not letting your rib cage flare too much, you're just keeping everything nice and controlled and keeping that rib cage nice and closed in the center of your body. On the next one, you're gonna hold it up for me. So your shoulders, hips, knees are in this nice diagonal. This time you inhale in, send your hips halfway down. Exhale, squeeze, come all the way back up. So we inhale lower, exhale, lift. Working into the backs of the legs, really firing up those glutes, pressing your knees away. So you're constantly finding length through the fronts of your legs, so through those thighs. Keeping your weight into your heels, so you should be able to wiggle your toes the whole way through this exercise. And every time you press up, try not to expand too much into your ribcage. Keep everything controlled. We're just pressing up, really driving up with those heels, squeezing here, keeping those shoulders relaxed. We go five and up. Go four, press those heels in. We go three, squeeze two, on one. Slowly roll yourself all the way down. Once you've hit the bottom, you're gonna reach those arms up to the ceiling. Pull your shoulder blades down and back. Take an inhale in the next, so we send our hip bones back up. Soft through the elbow, so a little bit of a bend, Inhale in, send your hips halfway down, open up your arms so they come to a V. Exhale, press all the way up. So you open your arms, open up that chest, press all the way up. So with this move, keep your shoulder blades down and back. And as your arms open, imagine your shoulders or your lats are expanding nice and wide down that upper back. And then as you press up, you're trying to squash like an egg or something underneath your armpits. So really activating your chest. This is gonna get those upper back muscles going. It's gonna get your chest going, but also your glutes will now be nice and warm. At any point if this gets too much on your legs, you can hold it up for a little bit as you can carry it on with your arms. But I want to really focus on keeping that weight into your heels. And at any point you feel this in your lower back, reset your core, think about zipping up through the pubic bone, make sure you're tilting ever so slightly. It's gonna minimize the arch, but let's go four and three. Breathe two on one, slowly roll yourself all the way back down. Press those heels and make sure your arms are still reaching up towards the ceiling. Inhale and exhale, you're taking those hip bones all the way back up for me. This time on your inhale, you send those hips halfway down. We bend at the elbow, bring our thumbs towards our forehead, then press all the way up. Getting those triceps nice and warm. Keep scooping up through the belly. Think about tilting that pelvis towards our belly button. So we are minimizing the arch in our lower back. By now, I'm hoping backs of your legs, your glutes, your butt cheeks are gonna be nice some warm, firing up those triceps. So with your triceps, try and keep your elbows stacked over your shoulders. You may feel a little bit of a vibrate as your arm straightens and that's perfectly normal. We want that little shake. It shows that our triceps are working. So keep going, keep those shoulder blades down and back. We squeeze, let's go five and lift, you go four, reach up, three more. All glutes should be warm, two, and last one here, slowly roll yourself all the way down. Bring those knees in towards your chest, give yourself a hug, rolling from side to side. Oh, and when you're ready, you're gonna plant your feet onto the mat. Feet hip distance apart, and I want you to interlace your fingers, bring your thumbs behind your head. Thumbs are running down your neck, nice open elbows for me, so nice open chest. 
From here, you're gonna do a couple of tilts for me. So you're gonna tilt your pelvis towards your belly button, squash your lower back as if we're about to go into a pelvic curl, and then take it back the other way. So it's a really small movement. So you squash your lower back into the mat, and then give me that arch underneath your lower back. So do a couple of these, so a couple of pelvic tilts, just to go through our neutral and our imprinted spines. And then I want you to find that neutral spine. So that one where you're pushing your pelvis away, you've got a natural gap underneath your lower back, and your pelvis is flat. Inhale in, pelvic floor lifts, exhale, you curl up towards your thighs, hold. I want you to slide a hand underneath your lower back, check there's a gap, if there's not, push your pelvis away, and then slowly lower ourselves down. So we exhale, curl, hold for a couple of breaths, try to lift yourself up high, and then slowly curl yourself back down. So we exhale, curl, elbows stay wide. And then inhale, lower. So it's a nice, slow movement here, really starting to fire up those abdominals, making sure you tuck your chin in and you peel one vertebrae off the mat, one at a time. At the top of your curl, try and lift those shoulder blades a little higher if you can, almost like you're trying to get as much shoulder blade off the mat as possible. And you're focusing on keeping that lower back off the mat. So at any point, if I was to stop you, you should always be able to have this arch underneath your lower back. So you can check yourself. So if you wanna just stop, check that you've got that gap and then carry on. If you've noticed your lower back has glued or squashed itself into the mat, just push that pelvis away, find that tilt and then go back down again. Nice, everyone. Hold up a little longer this time. Elbows stay wide. And on your next one, you hold up. We pulse it up. Eight and seven. Lift up a little higher. Let's go six and five. Keep those chins tucked. Four more elbows wide. Three, two, on one. Curling yourself all the way down. Keep your hands where they are. So keep them sort of cushioning your head. This time, you're going to imprint your spikes. So imprint your spine so tilt your pelvis towards your belly button so the opposite direction of what we did in our neutral spine bring your legs up into tabletop so your knees are stacked over your hips and your shins are parallel to the ceiling relax through your shoulders take an inhale and exhale you curl up towards your thighs your right hand you're then going to reach it to the outside of your left thigh you come back to your head you curl yourself back down so we exhale curl up straight first and then you rotate come back to your head you curl yourself so make sure you're finding that curl first, and then you rotate by reaching opposite hand to the outside of that thigh, and then go over to the other side. So this is gonna be working abs, it's gonna be working obliques. Beautiful work here, guys. So really reaching as you do this. Keeping those elbows nice and wide. Yeah, nice, everyone. So make sure that if you are starting to arch your lower back, you can drop your feet to the floor and you can do this with feet on the floor. But I want you to really think about lifting yourself up into the ab curl first, then you do the rotation, then you come back to your head and you curl yourself back down. Sorry, I'm just gonna move my mic a little bit because I'm worried that I'm gonna squash it as I do the rotations. So with this move, guys, you're working abs, we're working obliques. So really focus on getting that curl, then you rotate. If you would like to make this harder for yourself, you extend your legs up to the ceiling and you give me an ab curl, you rotate, back to your ab curl and lower down, keeping those legs nice and extended up towards the ceiling. Take it slow. Beautiful work here, guys. Try and lift yourselves up a little higher if you can. Nice work. And remember, you can drop down onto your feet if you need to. So lots of options here with the legs. But when you're ready, on your next one, you're gonna hold that curl. So take over to that one side, little pulses here. Pulse five and four. Stay with me, three, two, on one. Curl yourself back down, other side. So inhale in, exhale, curl first, then rotate. We pulse five, pulse four, pulse three. Elbows wide, two, and last one, curl all the way down. Keeping your hands where they are, just drop both knees over to the right hand side. Take a big breath in, take it over to the other side for me guys. Oh, that was a burner. Come back through to center and we're going back up into tabletop. So keeping your hands where they are, in, um, imprint your spine, legs come back up into tabletop for me guys. Elbows are nice and wide. Inhale in, exhale, you're gonna curl right armpit to left thigh. Curling yourself up, 
slowly lower down. So just straight oblique curls. So exhale, take it over to the other side, elbow stay wide, and then lower down. If you would like to make this harder, you can add in a toe tap. So you're curling up towards one knee, the knee you haven't curled towards, you toe tap that knee down or that foot down, and then slowly roll yourself down. So we exhale, twist, toe tap, come back to center, lower yourself down. So adding in that toe tap, it's obviously gonna make it a little bit more challenging as we are working those lower abdominals now to stabilize our pelvis as we toe tap down. But the toe taps are optional. Again, if this gets too much, guys, drop your feet to the mat, find your neutral spine, and you can do this in your neutral spine with your feet on the floor. So again, lots of options for you today. But one thing is for sure is to keep those elbows nice and wide. Keep your chest proud. So keeping that lower part of your spine glued to the mat if you are in tabletop legs. If your feet are on the floor, you can come into your neutral spine where we get that gap. But if your legs are in tabletop, try and squash your lower back into the mat for me. But we go five. Nice work here, guys. Let's go four. Keep scooping up that space between your hip bones. Three. Lift up a little higher if you can. We go two. On one, guys, I want you to hold it in whatever ab curl you're in or oblique curl and just carry on with the toe taps or just hold an oblique curl for four. And three, curl up a little higher if you can. Two, on one, curl yourself all the way down over to the other side for me. So you exhale curl, either holding the curl or coming into those toe taps for four. And three, give me two. And last one, come all the way down. Take your legs long, guys, take your arms long. Inhale in, just hunch your shoulders, hunch all your muscles in your body, and then just relax into your mat. So we inhale and hunch everything, and then exhale, relax. So one more together. Inhale in, tense everything, and then exhale, relax. From here, you're gonna roll over onto your right hand side for me. So your arm is long, you're finding a nice long line. So. Fingertips, shoulders, hips, knees, feet are in this nice long line, kind of like a pencil. And um, your left hand is gonna be in front of you, or you can bring it up onto your waist or up to the ceiling if you wanna challenge your core and your balance. But relax your shoulders, take an inhale in. Exhale, you're gonna bend your left knee, bring that foot to your knee. You then extend out long and then slowly lower it down. So you pull into your knee, extend long and then lower down so this is going to be working your inner outer and um, inner outer thighs and also your glutes also working into our obliques and our stabilizing muscles so with this move I, you don't need to get that leg super high it's just more about extending it long so rather than bending it and then kicking it up sometimes when we do that we fling through our spine so try and stay nice and controlled here reaching those um, toes out so nice and long finding length through that left leg working into our glutes working into our outer thigh and then also working into our inner thigh so as our leg lowers down we're having to use that inner thigh to really stabilize that leg so it doesn't just drop down onto the mat Beautiful work here, guys. Keep that core connection and really try and keep your hip bones nice and stable here. Beautiful, let's go for another four, then we obviously need to reverse this move. And three, try and think about um, finding length through both legs. Imagine someone's pulling that leg away from you. You've got two. And on your last one, we'll do one more and then you're gonna reverse this movement. So this time you lift that leg up, you then bend it in and then slowly extend that leg long. So we lift, we bend, placing that foot towards our knee and then slowly extend. Really firing up outer and inner thigh here, firing up that glute. Keep your shoulders relaxed as you do this. Remember, keep that core nice and connected. It's gonna make sure that we're not wobbling around too much on to our mats. So we lift. Bend and extend. Let's go for another five. Oh, you should be feeling a lot of thigh now. We've got four. Remember to breathe. Three more. Beautiful work, everyone. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Let's go two. And on one. I want you to hold that leg long. Hold it nice and long, tiny little circles. With your circles, try and push that hip bone away. Find that you should be feeling this now, coming into that quad, feeling inner thigh. You may be feeling a little bit of glute. And reverse the circle, come back the other way. Imagine someone is pulling that foot away from you. So find length through that leg. We've got four, three, two, and last one. Bring that leg all the way down. From here, rolling over into a four-foot kneeling. Oh, gosh. Feel a lot of that left leg. 
So four point kneeling, hands directly underneath your shoulders, knees directly underneath your hips. Find your neutral spine, so tuck that pelvis under, pull belly away. Inhale in, we bend at our elbows. You're gonna come halfway up, drop it all the way back down, then push all the way back up. So you come all the way down, halfway up, all the way down, all the way up. So with this halfway point, try and stop so what, well, at the halfway point, but try not to come too high up. We wanna keep that tension on our triceps. You wanna keep your hips in the air and with your elbows, try and keep them nice and close. You constantly want them pointing back towards your thighs as opposed to creeping out to the side. So really starting to fire up those arms, keep those shoulders down and back. Nice, everyone, hips stay high, so try not to lean too far backwards. So you lower, halfway up, lower and lift. We've got four like this. Keep that chest proud. Try not to look at your knees either. Let's go three and lift. Two more. Nice, everyone. One more like this. And then drop halfway down. We pulse five, pulse four. Keep those hips high, three to come all the way up on one. Just sit back onto your heels, clasp your hands together, open up through your chest, stretch it out. Holding for five, four, three, two, and one. Just give those arms a shake. From here, you're gonna roll over now onto that left-hand side. Legs are long, arm is long. Lie down onto that left arm now. Right hand can either be in front of you, waist or up towards the ceiling. But again, just focus on pushing that top hip bone away, finding length through, that, um, through your spine. And when you're ready guys, we bend that knee, bring that foot in towards our knee, extend that leg long and then slowly lower down. So we bend, extend and then lower. So with this move, imagine someone is pulling this top leg away from you. So you wanna find length through this sort of waist through this top hip, as opposed to letting this hip bone roll in. You wanna think about pushing it away and you're gonna feel far more thigh, far more inner thigh. You may feel some glute kicking in. And it's also gonna show that we're really stabilizing ourselves through our core muscles. Beautiful, try not to grip onto the mat for dear life. Try and keep your shoulders relaxed. Try and keep this hand nice and loose. You're not sort of gripping on. Nice, everyone remember fine length. Try and extend that leg long and then lower down and keep it controlled, keep it slow and try and isolate each movement. So isolate the bend, then the extension and then the lower down rather than sort of making a circle shape. So make it nice and slow as you bend, extend and lower. Let's go four. Ooh, thigh muscles should be warm. Here we go three. Keep pushing this top hip bone away from me. Two more. And on one, let's reverse. So we bend and then extend. So with the reverse, again, you're just keeping everything nice and controlled. We're isolating each movement, working into our outer and our inner thigh. And as you lift that leg up, remember you don't need to lift it up too high because the minute you lift up really high is when we let this hip bone roll in, we squash our waist into the mat. You wanna keep that length the whole way through, both sides of your waist. So we lift, bend, and lower, nice work. Here guys, relax through the shoulders as you do this, you've got this. We've got four more. And extend, let's go three. Remember to breathe, that's also really important. Two more. On one here guys, I want you to extend that leg nice and long, tiny little circles. With your circles, make them nice and small and try and lift them even higher if you can. So working into the spine now, squeezing into it and let's reverse the circle, come back the other way. Keep those shoulders relaxed. We're here for five, here for four, breathe three, two and last one. Lower that leg all the way down. Let's give it a shake, rolling over onto your tummies, onto your tummies, onto a four point kneeling for me guys. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. This time inhale and drop your belly, lift your chest. Just hold this here for a moment. And then exhale, round back through. Looking in between your thighs, really arching through your spine. So we inhale and drop belly, lift chest, opening up through the chest. And then exhale, rounding back through. Let's do one more each way, inhale and lift that chest up. 
exhale, round through for me. And then find that neutral point in between your cat and your cow. Tuck all 10 toes under. Just slowly walk your hands back to your feet so you're still in a nice little ball. And then just send your hips up to the ceiling. Keep those knees really soft. From here, grab opposite elbow. Gently sway from left to right, releasing any tension in your spine, down the backs of your legs, in your shoulders, in your neck. Coming through to center, shake your head one way for yes. And then one way for no. Dropping your hands to the floor, and we're gonna roll ourselves up on the count of five, four, three, two, and one. Once you get to the top, guys, big shoulder roll. Take both hands to the ceiling, palms together. Hunch your shoulders, relax your shoulders, relax your arms, guys. We are done. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye.